Well, thank you for joining us for this Safety is Personal conversation series. Everyone has a safety story. And that's why we're here today, so that we can talk to advocates, safety experts, and hear what inspires them and what causes them to do what they do in the world. So today, we're here to talk to Kent McAhatton. Kent, thank you for being here with us today. Well, delighted to be here. Thank you for having me. So Kent, when did safety in the workplace become so personal for you? And, and why is it something that you've dedicated your life to? What, what was the catalyst? Yeah, I began my career working for a mining machinery manufacturer. We made these very large, heavy underground machine, machines that go into underground coal mines. So you have these very low coal mines and these big, massive machines and people all around them. And we lost three of our service people uh, during those years that I was with them. If you talk to those families today, they would talk as if Fred was killed yesterday. Uh, this is 35 years ago, uh, but the pain never goes away. That's what makes it personal. It's just the pain and the suffering that you see these, these families go through. And I know in dealing with you that that, that death happened yesterday for you too, mm -hmm. and that you carry that as a legacy of what you're doing in the world today. And, and I, I feel it every time I'm interacting with you. So um, while we never want those events to happen, the silver lining is you've dedicated your life and your industry and your and your your fruits of your labor to making sure it doesn't happen again so for that thank you can you talk a little bit about why work to zero is something that that you sponsored and that that you've dedicated not only your time but your resources to um, and what it means to you wow that's a big question <laughs> that's a big part of uh, i guess who i am in 1985 uh, two of us started a company called Industrial Scientific Corporation, and we were serving the safety industry with gas monitoring instruments. And we said industrial scientific people are dedicating their careers to eliminating death on the job by 2050. That unified the company in a really unique way, that rather than saying, we're going to go make a bunch of money uh, or something like that, we were saying, we want to stop people from getting killed uh, at work. And so that's a noble cause. It's an inarguable truth. Mm -hmm. uh, nobody has ever said to me, well, that's just about the stupidest thing I ever heard. And then we sold Industrial Scientific in 2017, but we took the proceeds, the family took mm. a third of the proceeds from Industrial Scientific and created the foundation that uh, in 40% of its grant making every year is going to uh, work to zero. There's two two strategies within work to zero. Uh, one is double down on what's working. We've got a lot of stuff that works really well. Use it, guards and uh, training and uh, all of that. So just double down on what's working and then accelerate the development of new technologies. And that's where I think a foundation can come in and do things that nobody else can really do. And you have technology and, and making sure that it gets applied in a way that has impact, that's never easy to do, no matter what you're talking about. So it often needs uh, folks like the foundation to help make that bridge. And work to zero to make that mm -hmm. bridge. What we're looking for are solutions that preempt having to put humans in harm's way. Mm -hmm. Preempt it, not make it safer for them to go into harm's way, but make don't it so they there. don't need to ever. Uh, and those are the kind of solutions that, uh, that I like especially. So. Very powerful. I know it's hard when folks get to tell their story, but we say thank you for doing that because it's going to save lives. So Kent, thank you for everything you've done throughout your career and being our Flame of Life Award at the National Safety Council, but most importantly, for everything you've done to dedicate to making sure that people go home at night. Well, thank you. Thank you. We have 28 years to 20, 2050. 2050. Work, no work. more workplace fatalities. All right, Lots sir. Lots of work. I'm yeah. signed up. Good. I know you are.